Hello, welcome to your latest Scotland weather update brought to you by the Met Office. It has turned pretty wet for many of us today as a weather system's pushed its way up from the southwest. That's continuing to track northeastwards across Scotland, bringing some fairly persistent and at times heavy rain. That's likely to linger across some northeastern parts towards Aberdeenshire, Orkney perhaps, though Shetland ahead of it sticking with some clear skies. Elsewhere behind the front, it's not turned completely dry. In fact, we are going to have some outbreaks of showery rain continuing for many overnight, albeit with some clear spells in between. Under the clear spells, temperatures may just about dip into single figures, but most places holding up in double digits, lows of around 10 to 12 Celsius in most parts. As we go through Wednesday, then it is going to be a showery day for many of us. Still some lingering rain across the far northeast through the morning rush hour. That could cause some localised issues, but that's going to break up. Otherwise, the biggest cause for concern will be the heavy thundery showers that are going to develop as we go through the day, particularly into the afternoon. Now, it's not just the heavy downpours that we need to watch out for. It's also the hail, the frequent lightning and the gusty winds as well. Perhaps the greatest chance of staying dry will be towards western parts here fewer showers and also the far east, eastern parts of Aberdeenshire, the sticking with some harsh, so some low cloud through much of the day, but fewer showers, largely dry. Where we get any sunshine in between the showers, temperatures should be around possibly even a little bit above average for the time of year, mid to high teens quite widely, may scrape a 20 Celsius, I think 19 is probably about as high as it's going to get. Now we do have a weather warning out for a big chunk of Scotland, particularly to central eastern parts, and that's for thunderstorms because well, whilst I talked about the hail, the lightning, the gusty winds, there's also the potential for some torrential downpours with those hefty showers. Could see 15 to 20 millimetres perhaps in just an hour or so and 30 to 40 millimetres in just a few hours. This is enough to cause some significant spray on the roads, could even cause a little bit of flooding as well. So do take care, whatever your plans are. As we go through Wednesday evening though we will see most of the showers easing out but it's not going to turn completely dry because there could be some more showery rain feeding down from the north as we go through Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday itself then another showery day but the detail will change ever so slightly. The focus of the showers shifted a little bit further west so western areas likely to see a few more showers on Thursday than on Wednesday. Central eastern parts uh, the shower intensity looks like it will ease a a little bit. Nonetheless, some of these could still be heavy and thundery, but perhaps slightly less impactful than on Wednesday. We do have a bit of a northerly wind developing, and with a bit more cloud around on Thursday, I'm expecting temperatures to be down just a degree or so compared to Wednesday. There is some fine weather to come, though. With high pressure building from the west, I'm expecting this weekend to be largely dry and bright. We'll have more information about that on our YouTube channel. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.